What's going on guys? Corey Smith here bringing you another pre-week market analysis video. Today is Friday, November 30th. Brings us another end to another week and another end to another trading month. I hope everyone had a great month and a great week. I know we had another profitable week here at CoreFX. Uh, about 150 pips we made this week, bringing us to a very nice month. Uh, personally up about 14% on my account. Um, but we're getting, coming to another end, month end here, moving on to December, another uh, little bit of a slower trade month as the holidays come around. And then once it, December ends, we get a real nice start to the year with the beginning of January, fresh uh, new year on the books. So we got a lot to look forward to in the coming weeks and months here. Um, but today is again Friday, November 30th. We got another month ending here, another week we can break down here, and another week coming up next week that we can get ready for. Anybody new to these videos, I do a full-on breakdown of the Forex markets. Going into all of the uh, major currency indexes as well as the US dollar major crosses, I do a full technical breakdown of all these pairs. We go over the S&P 500, we go over oil, we go over gold, and we do just do a full breakdown of um, you know what's going on in the markets, what played out this past week, some fundamentals of what we're seeing in the news, as well as what we're looking for in this coming week ahead, what trade setups are on our radar here at CoreFX, and really just all around breakdown of the theme in the markets, the overall performing pairs, and just a full breakdown of the FX markets. So if you like what you're seeing here, leave a comment below, throw a like, share it, show your friends, um, subscribe to the page. You'll get notified every time these weekly videos come out. I do these videos once a week, breaking down the prior week, getting ready for the week ahead. Um, so make sure you guys tune into these videos if you like what you're seeing. I really do appreciate it. Throw any uh, feedback you have for me down below, anything you want to see in the next videos or anything I could do better. I would love to hear from you. Any of your opinion on any of these pairs I break down that you want to share, please let me know as well. Um, but thank you guys. I really appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the content now into the video and I'll see you guys in there. Alrighty, so starting here with the performance of the past week, we have the New Zealand dollar, Australian dollar, US dollar, top three performing pairs of the week. And then we have the yen, pound, CAD, bottom three performers of the week. Once again, we are staying with this risk on risk off theme. This week being a risk on theme. U.S. equity markets rallied, they recovered, they bounced. I'll show you what's going on in the S&P 500 chart once we get to that part. But um, that rally in the U.S. equity markets kind of transcribed around the world. Um, when we see that, we see strengthening of the New Zealand dollar, Aussie dollar, weakening of the Japanese yen, and typically Swiss franc. So that is what we're seeing here. This week again, showing us this risk-off move, Aussie New Zealand continue to outperform the rest of the pairs while the yen continues to suffer. Starting off with the U.S. dollar, as you guys can see, we are still respecting this upward trend line marked with this red line here. Um, this week, we did have a little bit of a choppy week. We moved higher, we pulled back, we moved higher again. So, um, not too strong of a moving week one direction or another. Pretty choppy whips all week. But, um, as you guys can see, we are still now above this 97 support. We're continuing to move higher as we are respecting this higher low. Pulling back up now, the retest is higher high. We're still ranging between the, pri the the most recently set higher low and higher high. So we're just ranging between those two. Um, but everything looks bullish still with the US dollar. So until we see any kind of change, we gotta remain looking that way. The Euro, as you guys can see, is pretty much inverse um, as the dollar. We were moving in a downtrend, and now we are ranging between the most recent lower low and lower high. And as you can see, we had a pretty whipsawed week here with the Euro 2. Started off weak, then it was strong, then it ended the week weak again. So um, this could still potentially be an inverted head and shoulders. This could still be a left shoulder, a head, right shoulder, boom. But if we see this shoulder broken any lower than this bearish uh, bullish candle here, then that will invalidate that setup. And as with the US dollar, we want to remain looking to the downside with any setups that we're looking for with the euro. Japanese yen still sitting on a very strong level here. This is a very strong weekly support level that we can expect to see price bounce off of, but it is still sitting on it. This is a very significant zone, and what price does here will really probably set the tone for the coming months of the yen's direction. If we see a break of this support to the downside, we could expect to see a continued sell-off. And if we see the U.S. equity markets continuing to rally, I think that will show us a weak yen throughout that. But if the U.S. markets turn around and we start to see them continue to sell off, I think that we will break this counter trend line and go back into an uptrend here on the yen. 
but right now we remain in a downtrend. We are in a pennant or descending triangle pattern. I can show you right here. This is where we have the pennant bottom line. This trend line here is the top line, right? So we have a pennant, pennant, and then if you look here, there could be an act as a support with a closing in top. So we have um, really just the basing pattern. It can be looked at in a number of different shapes, sizes, and forms, but it's a basing pattern. We have price consolidating on strong support within a downtrend. We are looking for a breakout to the downside. On to the British pound, we have a pretty similar story. We are on a very strong support. We set a lower low, lower low sharply rose from there, sold back off to the lower low, and have now been trading along it. So if we zoom in a little bit here, we can see some basing patterns and some consolidation. As you guys can see in here, zooming in a little bit, we've got a support holding and the highs are getting lower and lower and lower, consolidating down here. A descending triangle pattern. Um, looking for a breakout to the downside in the pound as well. This will have a lot to do with the Brexit talks going on and if they're able to um, really get some leeway going with the deal that they're agreeing on. So we'll have to wait and see what's going on there with Brexit to see where this pair is heading. Unfortunately, fundamentals have been driving the way. Canadian dollar is another one that's continuing to move lower. We're hitting a strong support here, and price has been really just chopping lower. Uh, I don't really like that kind of price action. I like when price pushes lower and then pulls back and then pushes. I don't like seeing this immediate one bar lower, two bars higher. Two bars lower, one bar higher. One bar lower, one bar higher. You know, like this is just not really strong price action. This is um, just price chopping lower and moving lower. It, it can be looked at all well, you can see here um it's not loading the lower time frame but you can see here we've got a closing in wedge pattern falling wedge in a downtrend reversal pattern so keep an eye on that canadian dollars hitting very strong support so we'll keep an eye on that see if it's able to bounce if it bounces maybe we'll get a good opportunity to enter short on the next lower high that forms possibly in this range um or if it continues to sell off then we'll just look for short opportunities on the cad we gotta keep an eye on oil also to see what that's doing Swiss francs, another interesting chart. We came down, set a lower low, pulled back, set a lower high, um, back on prior structure, started to sell off, but then popped again on um, Wednesday, and we're still in this strong zone, continue to sell off from there, and now it's starting to move lower again. I think that we still are looking good for a short play here. I would like to see price come and break below these prior lows before this bullish bounce here to show us that there's more confirmation price is heading lower but i think we'll head back down to this 9250 range eventually and again this is another pair that depends on the stock market performance and how we're doing with that risk on risk off theme australian dollar continuing to get this trend reversal going and this new uptrend we're now retesting prior higher highs right so we had a higher high here pull back for a higher low bounced up now retesting this prior higher high we can move this this uh Support and resistance line anywhere in this area because this whole area looking left is structure. It is a, a significant zone. We sold off from this high and now we're back up to retesting it. So I would like to see price break above this to show us more strength in the Aussie or if price sells off. We got to see if this higher low here holds, which will also be right around the 50 SMA. So we're in this range here. Now we want to catch that next push to the upside um, in this uptrend move here. Australian dollar as well continues to push on this trend reversal now uptrend setting higher highs higher lows higher high pull back for a higher low pushed up and now at the higher high again retesting the high so we'll have to wait and see if price is able to break that high or if we sell off again and we got to see if this higher low breaks either way right now we're waiting to see I think price is likely to continue to the upside S&P 500 this is the US dollar stock market as you guys can see we double bottomed off this strong support here this week we had a very bullish week right we had monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday very strong week now hitting 200 sma 50 sma is closing in this crossover um it would be pretty significant that's called the death cross 50 crossing under the 200 sma um that is a very bearish crossover but as of right now we are still witnessing this strong double bottom hold strong recovery we'll see if price is able to continue this recovery or if it's just a rally after this sell-off and price rolls over. Either way, we'll have to keep an eye on this as this has a lot of influence in the FX markets. Gold, as you guys can see here, we're still kind of range-bound on gold after this week. Trading above this support but uh, and above the 50 SMA, following an upward trajectory. But we are still a little bit range-bound, so I'd like to see it break above these highs here or below these lows here to show us a little more direction. 
And oil continues to get crushed, but has based out this week as well. So we have consolidated this week in oil. As you guys can see, we've got five daily candles in a row, all inside of the prior day's candle, and all inside a tight little range here. So nothing really going on right now with oil. Oil is kind of just catching its breath after this strong sell-off, and we're going to wait and see where it's going to be heading next. That takes us to the euro dollar. As you guys saw last week, we had a left whole shoulder head right shoulder forming where you're looking for a potential head and shoulders pattern we saw a strong rally wednesday thursday but then we came up hit this daily trend line again and have sold off and now we're closing the friday with a bearish engulfing pattern which is a strong bearish reversal pattern and we are hitting on resistance so that could be this downtrend continuing however this right shoulder is still intact so if the bottom of this shoulder holds, this shoulder is still intact. If it pushes up higher, we could look for a break of this neckline, look for a reversal here. Or if it breaks the lower part of this right shoulder, we could look for short opportunities there. Pound dollars at a strong weekly support. As you guys can see, this looks similar to the pound um, chart in general. We got a nice range here that price is trading in. If we throw a little box around it, we can see where this range is, right? Price is in a nice range. We want to wait to see price break that range for the next move, but it's looking to the downside might be um, where we head, but we got to keep a close eye and see what price action tells us. Next, we have dollar CAD, which is showing a lot of bearish rejection to this resistance. As you guys can see, zooming in here, we had strong Wednesday bearish regulfing, uh, bearish shooting star rejection candle, right? So price moved all the way up into the zone looked like it was gonna push through this zone and move higher but then the bears came in rejected price sold it off ended up closing all the way down below the open so we were able to travel this high up but at the end of the day price had reversed all the way back down and closed below the open here very strong bearish rejection and then we had another spinning top indecision candle here on thursday and today friday we're getting another shooting star where bears bulls tried to push higher bears ended up pulling price all the way back down to the open looks like we're getting another reversal candle here on friday which is a bearish sign for us here on the dollar cad we're in a strong uptrend so not necessarily wanting to jump on and sell this pair but now we got to wait for price to come back to us sell off a bit give us another buying opportunity and catch that next move dollar yen pretty range bound right we set this higher high price pulled back to set a higher low pushed higher and is now selling off and just chopping around within this range of this higher high and higher low so again we want to see what price does we've got a nice daily trend line nice daily support and nice 50 sma pinning underneath price that should hold price and push it to the upside to then come up to at least retest this higher high maybe set a new one but we'll be keeping an eye on that pair for that dollar swiss sold off pretty strong have been basing around since Trapped underneath of this strong 100, I mean a dollar parity level here, acted as strong support. Once broken, now it's acting as resistance. So I would like to see price one way or another break the range it's in here, whether it breaks to the bottom here, breaks with this 50 SMA and sells off. That would be a nice short. Or if it breaks up above this one parity, we could wait and see if price continues this uptrend and then look for a break of the prior higher high up here to set new structure. Aussie dollar, um, again, continuing this uptrend, right? Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Now retesting this prior higher high. It's under strong weekly resistance. So it's gonna take a decent amount to push price through this. We might see next week start the week with a little bit of a sell-off before we then continue to get some rally or some uh, momentum to possibly push that higher and set a new higher high. New Zealand dollar, this one's marked up because we had a trade set up here this week in core FX, nice full take profit to trade. Another one reversed the trend. Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Back up to retest the high. Also on the 200 a day SMA, this black line we see here. So price is um, respecting structure, respecting the trend, pushing higher. It looks like it wanted to push higher this today, but um, it's being held underneath that resistance there. Real quick, the breakdown of this trade after this pullback on the daily chart, we had a nice flag pattern here, falling wedge. Within an uptrend, nice continuation pattern, trend continuation pattern. We caught that when price came out and it shot within the first hour straight to our take profit too. So that was a great, nice and easy, almost 80 pip win there. New Zealand Japanese yen, I like this pair to the upside. As you guys can see, this is a very nice matchup for that risk on, risk off theme, as I told you guys, because these pairs are inversely correlated. So when New Zealand also go up, yen, Swiss franc go down, typically with the stock market strength and weakness. So this pair is a good matchup to play when there is fundamental bias. Um, and we had a strong week. We had a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, very bullish. Thursday, Friday, a little bit less. Um, Thursday was a little bit of sell-off. Friday's a little more bullish, but it's kind of basing around. I would like to see price potentially <clears throat> to start this coming week 
pull back a little bit, give us a buying opportunity and catch that next pulse higher. So I do like this pair of the upside. We're now above the 5,220 SMAs. The 20 crossed the 200. Now the 50 is coming up to cross the 200. That would be our golden cross, very bullish crossover. So we will be keeping an eye on this pair. CAD yen, I like to the downside still. A little bit of choppy price action this week. We broke this strong trend line. Pull back to retest it as well as this resistance and have started to sell off from it, but not totally. So we're going to wait for some more confirmation. We'll be keeping an eye on that in the core FX trading room. But I do like this pair potentially the downside. Basically the same as I was looking at last week. We are looking to ride this now down to this weekly trend line here where we could potentially look for our take profits on that strong weekly level. Aussie yen, another pair I like to the upside. We're hitting strong resistance now. So we are going to wait to see how price reacts to this. I'd like to get into a pullback maybe before it continues higher. But this is a nice trend reversal. Broke trend, set a new higher high, pull back for a higher low, based around a little bit, and looks like it's making another push here. So we want to try to catch on that push. Swiss franc yen has now broke above the 50 SMA, broke above this structure, set a new higher high, back-to-back -back days of pullback. Now we want to look for our long opportunity to catch that next impulse leg higher, see if we can catch that next move. Pound CAD, another one I like to the downside. So we are been within a range. As you guys know, I'm a trend trader. Don't typically trade ranges. Every once in a while, there's a nice setup. I'll look for them. Uh, we've been in this range. We hit the top of the range, had a very strong sell-off, some Brexit news with resign, resignations and all from the cabinet. Had this sell-off. We've since rallied and have now been basing around underneath the 50% Fibonacci retracement of this sell-off, right? So if we take our good old friend Fibonacci drag it from the top of this sell-off to the bottom of this sell-off here. You can see the 50 SMA has been holding. We've got back-to-back -back bearish days now, and price looks like it's gaining some bearish momentum, dropping to the four hour. You can see this trend line a little better that we're keeping an eye on to see price break that, to give us an idea that price is heading back to the bottom of this range. Euro New Zealand continues to get crushed. Uh, we just broke a, broke a significant weekly level. I'd like to see price either continue a little bit lower and then come back, or just come right back hit this level, and then catch that next move to the downside. Euro Aussie, another nice trade I caught this week. Strong sell-off, sudden lower lows, lower highs. Hit a strong zone and rallied back up to another resistance up here. Zoomed in, looked for the counter trend line, found a double top on the four hour, waited for that counter trend line break, entered short, and rode it all the way to take profit too. Another nice setup here. We're now back below this support, so we can wait for price to come back up to this support level now as resistance and look for a short opportunity off that zone to try to catch the next move of that wave to the downside. EuroCAD, another nice setup that occurred this week. Uh, strong bullish push, broke above the 50 SMA, broke structure, set a new higher high, pulled back, found support on this 50 SMA on prior structure, got a nice bounce off that. Zooming it in a little bit here, you can see where we look for that breakout and then caught that next push to the upside, um, riding that for a nice trade there. So that is another nice setup here on Euro CAD. We'll have to keep an eye on closing with a very significant bearish engulfing, looking like a double top pattern here on the daily. So we will keep an eye on that. And if you look left, you can also see that double top is forming on significant structure zone. So we want to keep an eye on what's going on with this pair. Um, and we are out of that position, so that is nothing to worry about now. Aussie CAD, we have a nice pullback opportunity on the horizon. Excuse me. Um, I'd like to see price come back. Pull back here, might be right around that 200 SMA on this strong support resistance structure, and then catch that next push to the upside. Um, so price is setting higher highs, higher lows. We're now above the 5200 and 20 SMAs. Um, they're sloping upwards. We're about to get a crossover between the 20 and the 200, and both price action just looks bullish. So we are looking for longs. New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar, similar story, setting higher highs, higher lows, moving an uptrend, moving higher, hitting strong resistance now, but we have broken up above the 200 SMA. Tested it as support and then continued higher. We're now hitting a strong resistance. So what we're looking for here, again, is a pullback to a nice level to catch the next move higher for the nice trend continuation pullback setup. CAD Swiss franc, another one here that we call in core FX. Strong breakout out of this pendant pattern. Pull back, retested structure, retested 200 SMA, tweezer top candlestick pattern, shooting star candlestick pattern, pull back to a nice Fibonacci level on the 50% pullback of this strong move here. And then we got a nice sell off, showing us our short opportunity in here with a break and retest of this counter trend line. Taking to an even smaller time frame here, you can see a nice trend line break. We entered short, 
hit take profit one relatively quickly, hit take profit two, and we were flat on a nice full take profit winning trade. All right, guys, so that does it here with the weekly technical talk video. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I hope you get some value out of them. Please leave a comment below if you like what you're seeing or if you don't like what you're seeing. I'd like your feedback either way. If you like what you're seeing, be sure to like the video. Subscribe to the page so you're notified every week when I upload these videos. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it, and I will catch you all next week.